I have so much makeup in front of me that it's insane. I have so much that I'm going to be doing two different products on each side of my face. They have come out with so much stuff and I haven't been able to bring it to you guys. So we're gonna be doing two foundations, two concealers on and on through the face, not every single product, but there's gonna be a lot of two products. There's a lot of high-end, there's a lot of drugstore. It's gonna be all kinds of fun. You're gonna see how I got this look today. Let's do it right now. Before we do get into the video where you see me completely do this whole makeover, I'm going to put a timestamp right here where you can skip ahead because right now we're going to talk about my clothes, my jewelry, a couple things like that. But those of you that don't worry about any of that, just skip, skip ahead on the timestamp if you would. All right, All right, let's first talk about what I have on with my shirt. This is a fun cold shoulder shirt. It hides your bra so well, so you don't have to worry about wearing a different bra I love that, but it's got this really cute detailing right here on the side of it where it has the cutouts and I just love it. It's long sleeve, has a ruching around the tummy, so it really hides the tummy well, kind of gathers up there. I love that about it and it's quite long, which I like too because I like to hide the tummy and it's a jersey knit fabric Then and it's in brown. I don't ever wear brown, but I wanted to pick this one up because I knew I was going to want to do fall looks for you guys and I know that you guys like to see different looks so this is me in a warm color and I also want to share with you my cute earrings They're kind of a swirl this wood right here is just a really light piece of wood and then it's painted or colored or whatever But this is a fun earring and I really enjoy having my dangle earrings as most of you know That's usually what I wear That's all going to be listed and linked below and there's going to come up a number right here on the screen That's part of my numbering system that numbering system goes from one to however many products we get through today So whatever product i'm talking about at that and a corresponding number is going to come up. Don't worry about remembering the name of the product, the color. Just remember that you liked number three and you're going to open up the description box. You're going to go to number three. Next to it will be the product with the link that you can shop that way if you would like to. It just seems to be a lot easier for people to be able to shop that way. So go ahead and do that. That's the intro. Now let's get to see how I did this makeover with a ton of new makeup. So I chose a primer that I haven't showed a lot on my channel before. The Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. This is such a different primer. If you've never tried it, for one thing, it comes out of the tube like it's gonna just spit at you. So it comes out like in just a long tube. Then as you rub it and warm it in with your fingers, it really kind of gets watery, which is really strange about it, but it does its job so well and it feels so light on your skin. It fills in the pores. It makes you feel a little bit matte without feeling dry. It's just, it's a good primer. And then of course, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer, which I always use in every video. That's no surprise to any of you. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of that and take the discoloration away across my eyelids. All right, I wanted to also try two new color correctors to me. So I have the peach one from Fenty and then I also have the under eye brightener from Milani and this one is in pumpkin I had the peach one too but it was almost like too white it was just crazy so I'm going to use the Milani one on one eye Ooh, that came out in a lot so the tube on this is a lot like the Charlotte Tilbury one where you just squeeze it out and it comes out so I'm just going to tap that in underneath my eye I don't know I don't think I'm going to like that one very much because it kind of just disappeared as I was tapping it out it barely gave me any coverage all right let's try this Fenty one on this side this one is very creamy feels pretty good and it looks like it's going to do a pretty good job. Yeah, of the two, I think I like the Fenty one better. It's a little bit thicker, so it covers a little bit better. It feels really good on the eye too, whereas this one from Milani, it feels kind of a little bit dry. So I did so, get the Natasha Denona My Dream palette. That's what I'm working with today. I'm going to take this color right here in the very middle, and I'm going to use that as my transition color. I will tell you that I was a little bit disappointed in how dark this palette is. I know it doesn't look terribly dark on camera, but it's pretty darn dark. So I'm going to just use that one and I'm going to build that up as my transition color. I love using a light peach as my transition color. It just brings a lot of life to that area. Since we're going for a very autumn look and I kind of want to keep this 
as easy as I possibly can. I think I'm going to mix this berry color right here, which is so pretty, with this lighter, um, almost like a taupe color right over here. I'm using a BK Beauty 205 brush. This is the angled brush that I use all the time. Does the work for you. I love it. I've been using it forever. I'm going to lay that color down right here. Once I deposit that color, I'm going to bring it over just a little bit and then push it out towards the end. So bringing it over about two thirds of the way in the crease and then pushing it up. If you do not have any sort of lid space and you have a hooded eye, always bring your eye makeup up or your eyeshadow up above that lid. Don't worry about the lid. Put something light on there and just don't worry about it. But you've got to put, you know, you've got to make your eyeshadow come above that crease because otherwise it's going to look like you don't have any eyeshadow on and you're not going to define your eyes. So always bring it above there if you have a very hooded lid. These are very easy shadows to blend. They always are good with Natasha. You can always count on her quality. It's almost always just really good. So since we're talking about it, I will just swatch these for you. These are the shimmers that are in there. Now, if you notice one of them right here, which is this one, that one is a duochrome. And as you, as I turn it, you're going to see that it flips from green to uh, pink. So I think that I will go ahead and I'll put that on my eyelid so that you can see what that one is. I'm just going to do it with my finger. Different than what I normally do because I normally do such a bright color on my lid. But this is a pretty, pretty shadow and I really wanted to showcase it for you guys. I'm also going to go into this color right here. And I'm going to bring that into the inner corner because the pink on the inner corner it just doesn't quite look as good as I want it to look. So I'm just going to grab that and go on to the inner corner and blend the two together just a little bit. Okay, now we're going to work with our foundation. This is from House Labs and this is their Tricone St Skin Tech Foundation. It says shake very well, so I'm going to do that. I have tried this once before and it is not my color. So I'm going to put three pumps on here because I have to mix it. But you can see, hopefully you can see that it's kind of a really dark color. It's also quite a bit orange so I'm going to fix it with my blue mixing medium drop of that and my white a drop of that and sorry they're just a mess I use them every day almost what's absolutely beautiful about those mixers from LA girl by the way that's where they're from what's beautiful about them is that they don't change the consistency because you use such a small amount so they don't change the consistency they just change the color of it so I got a pretty good good color going here. Okay, I'm using a brush to apply this because when I applied it before, in order to get any sort of coverage, I had to use three coats, which is not normal for me. Normally in one coat, I can get a really nice coverage, but this particular foundation, it's light and it's beautiful and it feels great on your skin. But at the same time, it didn't give me the kind of coverage that I like. Yes, I do like a little bit fuller coverage. It doesn't break apart. It has very good lasting power. And it, like I said, you can see that it covered just beautifully with the brush. I think it gives a great finish. It's not dewy. It feels a little bit natural. It's not very matte. It's just kind of that really nice sweet spot. And then on the other side, I'm going to demo the Patrick Ta, the new one, that his new foundation. And this one I am going to use my sponge for. So up here is the foundation and down here is the powder. And I have light medium three, I believe. This is a really good color for me. I just loaded up my sponge a little bit and that's really all you need. And then you just bounce it around and this goes on like a dream. This is one of my favorite foundations. I do need just a tad bit lighter of a color, but even still it goes on and it's so pretty. It covers so well and it's a very cool tone, which I was really glad to see. This is probably my favorite foundation since the Wayne Goss foundation. I just really like it. The House Labs, it's a beautiful foundation. I feel like I have to baby it just a tiny bit more than the Patrick Ta, but they're really both really good foundations. So now we're going to go on to concealer. And again, I have two concealers. I have the new one that everybody's raving about from cover girl this is the simply ageless triple action concealer and it doesn't have a doe foot applicator or anything it just has this little dotty thing so i'm gonna just dot through here i'm gonna just pat this around 
so that it's spread out and it can sit for a second. Then the other concealer that I picked up that I wanted to try for you all is the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm gonna put that on this eye. Completely different textures. This one from Charlotte Tilbury is kind of thick. And this one that is from CoverGirl is kind of thin. So we shall see about that in a minute. I'm just going over my makeup. I'm gonna go over all of it with the clean side of this sponge to pick everything up. If you've never seen me do my concealer, you're going to flip out while I let that concealer sit, but there is a video on it and the reason that I do it. So if you're interested, I will leave that video as well. Today I am using the e.l.f. Wow Brow in I think it's neutral brown and I'm just going to do that with my eyebrows because I didn't have anything new. So I'm going to do that and then I will be right back to talk to you about the other new things we have. Many of you guys had your eyebrows microbladed. I'm so tempted to do that. I wanna do that so bad, but I don't know. I'm afraid that it'll get all messed up, but I have a really good esthetician and she has somebody in her office that does it and I trust her. So I might take the plunge and go ahead and do that. The eyebrows are always such a work in progress and I never get them quite right. All right, this is a Benefit Highbrow Pencil. I'm just putting underneath here to bring a little bit of height to the eye look. Now we're gonna go ahead and see how these two concealers work. I feel like I probably should have blended the one from CoverGirl out a little bit sooner. It dried down just a little bit fast, but it's still giving really good coverage. So I do like that. Let's do the Charlotte Tilbury side. I'm turning my sponge around to a clean part. The Charlotte Tilbury side has not dried down. And if you notice, I'm actually taking my sponge up to clean up the eyeshadow where I kind of came out a little bit too far. So the Charlotte Tilbury side is blending out really easy. It did not sit down as fast as the CoverGirl one, but I feel like they both have pretty good coverage. When I look down, that's the testament to how good a concealer is gonna be. So I do feel like they both did a really good job. So yeah, I think I like the Charlotte Tilbury a little bit better, which is surprising because I hardly ever like anything from Charlotte Tilbury besides her setting spray. Persona but sent me their new eyeliners and they all look really good. There's a charcoal and a brown and a bronze. And to go with this look today, even though I'm not really wearing a bronze, I want to try this bronze because it just looks so darn pretty. So I think I'm gonna try that one. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful liner. So pretty. I'm just gonna smudge it out with my uh, pencil brush here. This is a gorgeous liner. I am so sorry about the jets. I live by an Air Force base and they practice, it seems like every single time that I start filming, they're practicing. That's the noise that you hear. That is a beautiful liner. I'm in love with that liner. So pretty. All right, here's another new to me product. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear bronzer and mine is in fair. I found that the other colors, they just look too orange. So I don't know if this is gonna work well or not as a contour. Okay, it's doing okay as a bronzer, but it's not great as a contour. So what I'm gonna do is, this is also new to me, and this is from Sephora Collection, and they just came out with this. So I'm gonna go into this color right over here that is kind of a muddy color that I can do some contouring with, and I'm gonna load my brush. I'm gonna do the contouring with this, and then in a few minutes, I'll go back in and I will do, look at, oh yeah, that's some mud. Perfect muddy color to do some contouring with in that Sephora little pa palette, the three pans. Too much, darling, too much. So I'm gonna go over this with my original Beauty Blender and try and just take that down a little bit. It won't look that muddy when I actually bring down my bangs. It'll just look like I have less of a forehead than I do, but I'm gonna just continue to go over it and blend the bronzer and the contour together. I also picked up one of Hourglass's new palettes. I actually picked up all three, but when I got them, I think this is the one that really just, I love the most. Okay, this one is called the Lighting Edit Unlocked Elephant. And this is really cool because they're donating to different causes um, to save wildlife and that kind of thing. So 
awesome that they do that and that some of the money that they make off of it goes to actually help animals. I love that. So this one caught my eye because of these beautiful two pinks in here. There's a coral and then there's a true rose. And I'm just going to go into the coral, I think, and pick that one up. And that's what I'm going to use as my blusher. beautiful blush color as always they knock it out of the park with their formulas i usually pick these up every year because i feel like you get to try so much in here and then what i'll do next is i'll take a little highlighting brush this one is from refer and i just love this it's number 18 i will am going to take these powders right here which are both lighting powders they're just powders to set with or whatever you want to do and i'm going to take those and i'm just going to very very lightly touch underneath my eye and I'm also going to bring it right here in the middle, down my nose, and right here on my chin because this powder has that lighting effect, that beautiful lighting effect. And I'm thinking you're all going, Melissa, you just barely told us that you put your highlighter on before you blush. I just forgot. Okay, let's do that. Let's put that on. So I'm going to put some of this new highlighter from Milani. I just squeezed out like a ton. Yeah, almost swore that time. Okay, so... I'm going to take this brush from Hourglass and I'm just going to lift some of that. Oh, it's pretty. Hopefully you can see. I'm just really lightly dusting it on there. I've got a lot on that brush. Let me grab my blush brush and make sure that that gets distributed easily. All right, pretty, pretty, pretty highlighter. It's not too much. Not too little, I like that a lot. So the highlighter was a yes. Now another new viral product is MAC Fix Plus Stay Over Setting Spray. This is alcohol-free, long-lasting setting spray. I love this stuff. I love that MAC finally came out with this. I knew they were going to someday, but I'm so glad that they did. So I'm spraying the end of my beauty sponge and I'm going to set my under eyes with it because I did a little bit of powder, but what I want to do is keep this really bulletproof and and I want to do it without having to do, use so much powder. Now I'm going to go over my whole face. Okay, this is a new color to me. This is the D Danessa Myrex Yummy Skin Powder, but it's not really a powder. So I haven't really tried this over makeup yet. I was using the clear one that I had under makeup. Right now we're going to try it over makeup. From what I understand, you can use this with a brush or you can use it with your fingers or whatever, but I do understand that a little tiny bit goes a long way. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to blur everything and make everything look seamless. Okay, I think I used way too much of that. I don't know if you can see that or not, but all of a sudden it looks flat down here on my makeup, which I'm not happy about. Okay, not super excited about that. However, I will keep testing it. It might be better underneath your foundation to help, you know, fill in pores and maybe give a little bit of coverage so you don't have to use so much foundation, but I will continue to test this and keep you updated on it. Rare Beauty did send me their new lip pencils. This one's called Wise. It's a brownish color, which I love. It's kind of got a little bit of mauve, but it's mostly brown. And I'm gonna extra outline or really kind of overline my lips a little bit. Great liners, very creamy, automatic twist up on those. Such a good liner, I'm really in love with those. So I didn't have a new lipstick. This one's purely nude from Maybelline. I want the lips to be that 90s nude grungy look. That's why I used the brown. Then I'm gonna fill it in with the brown just a little bit more. Oh, love that look so much. I know, we're a total throwback to the 90s. This is the Glossed Glosses from Sephora collection and this is money. This is going to brighten up this whole thing right here. Do a chrome flip between gold and pink and then I'm using this new liner from ColourPop which I love this color. It's called IDEK and it's so good. It's like a burgundy brown. It's just pretty pretty and I'm just loving it. It goes really good with that dual chrome from Natasha Denona. And then I'm taking um, two tubing mascaras today. So let's start out with the Calorie tubing mascara. These are both really good mascaras and they both stay on. The Calorie one has your basic bristle brush. That is more of the natural bristles, um, not a silicone brush, which is good. 
I do think that the Calorie one builds up a tiny bit better than the other one I'm going to use, and you'll see that in a second, which it is tart. But I do think that this one builds up just a tiny bit better. See how good that did? And that's just one coat. So really like this mascara. It's a good one. It doesn't flake. It doesn't smudge, but it comes off really easy because it is that tubing style mascara. Look at that mascara. Look at how it's lengthened. I was just putting the second coat on. It's lengthening. It's like grabbing every single one of my eyelashes. It's just such a good mascara. All right, All right, here is the Tarte Tubing Mascara. This is a silicone brush. Uh, it's a lot different than the other one. And here we go with the one from Tarte. All right, I do feel like this is clumping a little bit more. It isn't separating them as well as the other side did. And I'm having a hard time keeping them apart from each other. And as I'm trying to grip those bottom lashes to just catch them. It's having a hard time catching those as well. All right, I do feel like the mascara needed a little bit of help. I do think that I like the Calorie better than the Tarte. This one just feels kind of, this one with the Tarte, just feels kind of clumpy and like it's really having a problem. This one just went on like a dream. It went on so easily and the second coat even built up even nicer. No clumps, nothing like that. Okay, there's the final look and I have thoughts. I have lots of thoughts, okay? <laughs> First of all, I really like both of these foundations, Patrick Ta and House Laboratories, but I do think that I like the Patrick Ta so much better. It's just so easy to work with, very seamless, not, you know, not a problem at all. And I didn't get a chance to show you the powder, but this powder is fantastic as well. I'll just pick up a tiny bit of it. It comes out a lot when you're working with it, but I'll just dust that off. And then I'm just going to kind of blur this out just a little bit on the places that always need blurring. So the powder is fantastic. This would be my choice between the two. However, this is a little bit lighter coverage. I would say that this is light to medium coverage unless you're using a brush, in which case it gets to be medium coverage, very buildable. So those are both really good. As far as lasting power goes on them, I would say still that the Patrick Ta has better lasting power. So that's the thoughts on that. As far as the under eye corrector, I really didn't care for the Milani. I felt like it was very drying and I felt like it was quite um, thin formula that really didn't give much coverage. It kind of wiped away quickly. The Fenty was good, more of a balm-like product. So I would pick the Fenty over the M Milani in this instance. I really enjoyed the new palette from Sephora Collection. I think that these other colors are going to be just as nice. This one right here is kind of a very light like setting powder to me. It would be a fishing, finishing powder, fishing powder. Yeah, let's have a fishing yeah, let's go fishing. My husband will love that. So I do like this little palette. Really nice, soft powders that work. Well, my friends, unfortunately, at this point, the video did get corrupted and I don't have an outro for you. I will put a bunch of my opinions down in the description box on the products themselves so that you can have those as an idea as to what I thought on the rest of them. I'm so sorry about that, but I hope that you're having a great day and I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. Thanks so much for sticking around with me for watching all of these viral products. I love you so much and I will catch you in my very next video.